Dennis, seek outside. Um, we're gonna set up a cone with some strap and do our liners. Um, we're gonna start with the cone and we're gonna give you a bunch of these. Um, I think six of them or so. Um, you're only gonna need five for the Cimarron. We're gonna just thread these first. through. Um, if you can see that, my short end is going to come out so towards the bottom or like the little foot. My long end is going to be out the top. See that? Okay. And that's going to allow for maximum adjustment so I can tighten these down. This is how I'm going to load this whole cone if you have a full or just half the cone if you have a half nest. So I have all of my lines, again, five of them stuck into my cone and then I can go in and I'm going to face this towards the side of the, that I'm going to put the liner on and I can pull my pole, put my cone in the cone and stand it back up. And now all my strands are facing to the side I'm going to put the liner on and then my liner so it, I have my liner laid out um, inside the tent right now, facing down. And I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put the line into the bottom of my line locks, same as I did on the cone for the bottom of the liner. And then you can do two things here. You could either attach this cord to the stakeout loop itself, so I can run this through and tie a knot in here. And tie it to my stakeout loop and we can pull tension later with our line lock. Or you can just tie a big overhand in here. And then stake it out with your stake out line. So I'm pulling on that and I'm gonna set it up that way. You can do this all the way around. Um, my suggestion would be to tie it into this loop, mainly because it's gonna, you can leave it there um, in the future and it can just live attached. Um, otherwise you have to try to stake this out at the same time, it's a little bit more cumbersome when you're setting up your shelter. Um, but again, I would just tie it, tie it in here. So I have all those points attached to my various stakeout points along the tent. Uh, you'll notice that there's five of them that correspond with our five pieces at the top. So then I can just follow my seam from the bottom up to my line lock. I can pick the line lock that's closest to my seam. And again, we can, we're gonna rotate maybe this cone a little bit, but for now, I'm just gonna pick the, the cord that's closest to the seam that I'm pulling up with, and I'm gonna thread it through my line lock. And just pull, you can just pull slight tension on that, and that's my first one. That's gonna make it real easy to see my second one. It's gonna pick it up off the ground. I'm going to line up my seam with my seam. I'm going to grab the very next line lock cord and thread it through. It's a little cumbersome when it's under tension, um, but you can do it. And we can pull tension there. In this version right now, I have a stove jack where I could stick my stove pipe through. We split our liner. So this seam has a line lock that you could extend if you wanted to, but because of my stove jack, I'm going to hook that into this piece and it'll look a little different when I have it set up. Um, and that's going to hold this nice V shape and give me some coverage from where the liner sits when I have my stove pipe here burning. Um, which means then I can 
keep this cord for my center. I'm gonna skip one to the next one and thread that through. And then I just have one left. This is going to make it over to my other door on the opposite side. If you have two doors, take my last piece of cord. You can see I'm threading this in from the bottom. So furthest away through the hole from the bottom and then coming back through the top. And that's going to thread that line lock perfectly to hold tension and then release tension when I want it to. Let me put it up and there you have it. Hey everybody, links to all of our products are in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and thank you for watching.